Hey everyone, D is here with a tutorial on how to put LEDs into your Gundam. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start to plan how you're going to assemble everything. Um, I've completely painted this kit and I've reassembled everything except for the chest area. So for planning, you're going to want to look at what space you'll have available. This Gundam has a nice big cavity in the chest that will work great for um, the batteries I'm going to use, which are, which are these AG13s. And I'm using those because you add two of them together and you get 3.1 volts, so... And that's just exactly what I need to run the LED I'm going to use. If you were to use a LED that needed, um... Like, uh, 2 volts or something, you could use a... Just a 3 volt battery, which is a lot smaller. So, for a switch, I'm going to use this one position dip switch. Um, I'm choosing to use this because um, I feel that most Gundams will have a very similar feature which um, is great for hiding the uh, switch and a resistor. Uh, I'm going to use like a 22 ohm resistor I think. Uh, not too big because the power source isn't uh, that much greater than the LED. So um, This kit is exactly the the inner frame of this kit is exactly the same as my Easy 8s. Um, if you're curious to how I did the Easy 8, um, basically I just wedged a momentary switch in between the chest armor. So by putting the uh, thruster pack on and just pressing it, um, it would press the button. Um, a, I'm not going to do this for the uh, RX-79 because if you take off the thruster pack you can see the switch and B um, I wanted to create something that was a little more universal um, that could be used for any type of Gundam and since most Gundams have this uh, Isker armor of some kind I'm going to put the dip switch underneath the uh, back part um, there it won't be in the way, it won't be seeable or viewable and it will have easy access, so I think that'll work just great. So once you have all your parts and pieces um, together, you're going to want to start to plan um, how you're going to lay everything out. So I'm going to wrap the batteries up into something like this, so I'm just going to use uh, these old ones. So the batteries are going to just sit nicely in the chest like so. And I'm going to attach the positive side of the battery to the resistor, which is going to sit um, somewhere down there. And then I'm going to um, run the resistor to the switch, which will sit in the skirt armor of the uh, hip area. So going to lay out something like this and then once I get everything all that situated I will install the LED which will obviously um, connect to or uh, sit inside the uh, head behind the eyes all right um, Planning is definitely very important. I usually uh, look at the instructions even before I start building the kit. Then I build it and then I take it apart. Um, that way I know exactly what I have to work with. So now to get the batteries all um, prepared, what I'm going to do is using new batteries because you don't want them to be old and not last as long. Um, you're going to want to wrap them up. Um, I'm going to use some duct tape because it's really, it's really strong so it's gonna work. You can use uh, electrical tape too but um, electrical tape likes to stretch out so I'd recommend duct tape or something. So I'm just gonna cut a piece using my uh, hobby knife and I'm just going to wrap them up um, try to get them touching as tightly as possible 
before you apply the tape to both edges. Um, this will help uh, later on. So that piece wasn't big enough, so I'm just going to cut another uh, piece long enough to wrap around the entire battery. And I'm also going to um, wrap, fold it over the uh, negative side of the uh, battery. As you can see, there's a ring around the outside of the battery, which is the positive um, part of the battery. And just to be cautious, I'm just going to tape over this little ring um, so that there are no shorting uh, issues um, moving forward. And on the positive side, I'm just going to trim off any extra. And once you have the battery um, all set, it's time to move on to the next step. So now that I have the uh, power source ready, I'm going to um, test it with my resistor to see um, that A, it's going to work uh, the way I want it to, and B, that it's going to um, be as bright as I want it. I don't want it to be too bright. So if, it, if it's too bright, I'm going to either clear coat the LED, um, clear coat the clear visor piece, or even put some heat shrink around the uh, sides of the LED to limit the brightness. But my LED is actually perfect, so I'm not going to do any of those. Um, before I do anything, what I'm going to do is um, drill out the... Um, pegs and all the pieces that will have um, electronics in in them. Um, this is because the uh, chest is really hard to get apart because they're like um, there's the inner frame which is uh, two pieces overlapping and then there's the armor around the outside. Um, so if you ever need to open up your Gundam it, it'll be really difficult if you don't drill out these holes. So how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to, um, uh, using my drill bits, I'm just going to find the um, drill bit that is one size smaller or larger than the uh, hole. By doing this, I just um, kept putting in the drill bits until I get reached um, a size that wouldn't fit through. So once I found that drill bit, I'm just going to uh, drill out the holes. Um, the pieces still will uh, peg in place, and they still will hold fine. Um, so this is completely optional. I'm doing it just because I know I'm going to need to open up the Gundam at some point in the future, either to replace batteries or to fix um, a loose wire or something. So. This is just going to make my life a whole lot easier, um, but it's completely optional if you don't want to. Um, so possible mistakes that could be made um, at this point is use the wrong size drill bit and the hole becomes too big. Um, if that happens, it probably won't peg into place correctly and it won't stay and you'll have to glue it. So um, be careful and just use the um, correct size drill bit which is just um, a slight hair larger than the uh, hole is right now. So um, I think that's going to do it for this part. Join me at the next part where we will pick up where we left off. So this is D saying thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.